Out on the stove when you get into it, y'all never say. All right, it's the Hip Hop Matrix Show. Myself, DJ Academics. It's time for the sports report. Let's go with the NBA a little bit. Did you know that the Houston Rockets are 30 and 3 this year when both James Harden and Chris Paul played? Seems like Chris Paul is living a good life with his new team. I mean, that he's not missing nine, the Clippers at all. That is a .909 win percentage. That is almost great. That's, Do you think they can beat the Warriors, though? That's the question. Do I think they can beat the Warriors? I think they can shoot with the Warriors. And if, that, if they can shoot with the Warriors, they got a shooting chance. And um, Chris Paul is so happy he showed up to the game the other night in cowboy boots looking like <laughs> Martin on that one episode. Hey, this is Marty. When, uh, when, the, when the radio, when the radio station, station got flipped. Oh, God. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what Chris Paul looked like when, at the, when he showed up at their basketball game. And also, college basketball is taking a hit. I mean, um, wiretaps um, show that Sean Miller discussed a $100,000 payment to get DeAndre Ayton to sign to the University of Arizona. And guess what? Um, Woo. It wasn't even LeVar Ball. Lonzo Ball even chimed, chimed in on this. And um, guess what he said? What you? What do you think Lonzo Ball said? Lonzo? Well, I think Lonzo Not Ball his dad. Said? I'm talking about Lonzo. Uh, I, I barely hear Lonzo talk, but well, go ahead. Well, first of all, he denied that he took any money while he was in college to go to UCLA. But he <laughs> did. he did say everybody knows that everybody's getting paid. They might as well make it illegal. And I actually agree with Might that. Might as well make it legal? or Make make it legal to pay the players. Okay. I, I agree with that off, off the brink. We, I mean, that's been an argument for years, right? Yes, yes, yes. And Dick Vitale actually said, I'm crushed reading this, about, reading this but I'm not shocked. At these, alleg- at these alleged happenings, the sleazy characters prey on these kids when they're in the eighth grade. It's a nightmare for college basketball and a nightmare for the NCAA. See? And I have mixed feelings about that. I think... The people, they go into these communities and they actually, they do guide them to certain schools, but it's helping them. I mean, the NCAA and people like Dick Vitale and those people who say this is the NCAA this year, they don't want them to get paid. That's because you're too busy getting paid on them. That's going to cut all, that's going to cut into your check. So that's all right. that. So they're the ones really taking advantage of the kids. It's not the boosters and not, they, they're they paying these kids their worth. They are they are entertainers at a young age of 18, 19, 20. People are paying millions of dollars to watch these kids and advertise at their games. You make them wearing wear, their jerseys. Yeah, not even that. You make the kids wear certain shoes. Yeah. That the coach is getting paid for. Yeah. The coach, the players don't don't get paid to wear those tennis. Yeah. And I, I will say on the flip side too, I don't know if every kid technically is a victim. Like painting the story just because they're black that they're coming from. You know, uh, 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 um, a damaged home. Kalonzo Ball, like you said, he's a good example. Like he comes from a really good family. Yeah, they had money, but still, you gonna pay me my value if you're exploiting me? You, you and, are and, exploiting and that's, me. And that's and that's my point. My point is, I do think there is a lot of more of awareness with the youth now, so they're coming up. So a lot of them are coming up, whether they poor, middle class, or rich, automatically understanding like, no, I'm providing you a service. So chalk up the bread. Yeah, chalk up that bread. Also, NBA. The um, Kansas City Chiefs, another trade alert. They are expected to trade their Pro Bowl corner, Marcus Peters, to the Rams. So we're going to see how that adds up and who they get. And, um, you know, um, Joel Embiid, he was um, shooting some shots at, um, I can't even say his name, Guyanis all over the, the, the Greek the, freak. The Greek freak. Leaving yeah, Greek on Greek freak. freak. Yeah. Could you imagine it's, it's, a Greek freak coming to Philly and playing with Joel Embiid? And um, I saw that meme. I, I totally missed that. Yeah, that would be that would be a mean big three that could contend with anybody. I ain't even gonna stunt. It ain't gonna happen though. If the Greek freak went to Philly, I just don't see it happen. Oh man, that's all I'm saying is, oh man, somebody in trouble. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I mean the, the the boy the boy can ball, man. I was watching the All Star game, and you know you don't really get a chance to see him all the time on the national stage a lot. But there's a reason why we are talking about him as far as you know outside of like him just being able a okay basketball player like I would love to see the Greek freak in Philly I don't and the, and the players run the NBA so as soon as his contract up they can do whatever ain't no franchise tag in the NBA so I never asked you though far as when it, I know what you know you always told me your history when it comes to football and Philly being your team even though you're from Baltimore because they didn't always have a oh, uh, no, football I have no team. Basketball team I'm about to say do you have a basketball team I don't have one I, I, I'll go for the Wizards because they are technically the Baltimore Bullets that moved to Washington and became the Washington Bullets. Oh, and then knowledge. they changed the name 
to the Washington Wizards. Oh, knowledge, yeah. knowledge. Okay, yeah. okay. Now, I, originally, I, the Wizards are the Baltimore Bullets, so I'm gonna go with the Wizards. I, I never, sorry, I never knew that all these years we were rocking together, dog. I always like I never knew that. Yeah, they should bring sports back to be more. We got sports. I mean, we basketball. basketball back. Yeah, 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 yeah. Relevant we'll sports. That. We'll take that. Give us some. Um, give us the Milwaukee Bucks. We'll take the Greek Freak. <laughs> 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 That's the sports report. It's the hip hop mix.